Good morning ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the channel. It is day two of our Disney Fantasy Very Merry Time Cruise Vacation. And guys, it is a day at sea. We have a lot of fun activities. <laughs> We have a lot of fun activities planned for you guys today. We have Aladdin to look forward to in the Walt Disney Theater. It's gonna be such a fun day, guys. Let's go ahead and not waste any time. Let's head on downstairs to Royal Court or Palace. It's Royal Court on the Fantasy. And let's go have some breakfast. It's a very busy morning here in Royal Court for breakfast. Let's go ahead and take a look at the menu. So there are a lot of things on this menu, such as smoked salmon, you got fruit plates, you got parfaits. For children of all ages, you have your get up and go, peanut butter and jelly typhoon. You got Mickey waffles, of course, from the griddle. You got different kinds of pancakes and waffles. You have eggs, multiple different ways, hot cereals. You have omelets. For signature breakfast, you got your DCL Express, Southern Hatch, French toast, and crepes. And here are your additional options as well. Starting things off on the healthier side this morning with a fruit plate to start. All right, our main entrees have arrived. I have the eggs benedict with some hash brown and sausage. And over here, I have some French toast. Now I will say, while I typically love to go to Cabana's for breakfast because it's quick and easy and you can get in and out of there real quick, Every once in a while, I do enjoy just sitting down at a restaurant and, you know, having a slower paced meal. That being said, breakfast here at Royal Court was absolutely fantastic. I loved it. It was really good. Everything was delicious. The French toast, oh my god, the French toast was an absolute 10 out of 10. Probably the best French toast I've had on Disney Cruise Line in quite a long time. So, overall, I highly recommend it. Ah, good morning, Disney Fantasy Gingerbread House. This smells so good over here. Gotta take the stairs whenever I can. So as we were leaving breakfast, I noticed that we were stopped in the water. Then I came outside and I see all these officers standing outside looking and, you know, they have binoculars and stuff. So word on the street is there, there's somebody or something in the water because the Coast Guard has been circling. Oh, oh my, we even have a plane coming in. You know, a plane coming in over here. Take a look at this. Check that out guys, there's a Coast Guard boat over there. There's definitely something going on out here. Not sure what though. We're we getting an announcement. Well, very good morning to you, Disney Fantasy. This is Trent Rivers, right? Just wanted to do a brief update on uh situation we had this morning. Obviously the dogs of course stop for the moment. We are assisting the US Coast Guard for these search and rescue operation right now. Uh, the captain will be back in shot there this morning. He tells me for you, but I just want to know why the uh course had voltage this morning. Again, we have a request to uh, assist in a search and rescue operation right now. You can continue to enjoy your day on the Disney Fantasy and have a great sea day, folks. Just want to update you with that. Again, Captain Marissa will be back shortly with more updates. Thank you so much for your attention. Well, there you have it. We're assisting in a search and rescue. Very interesting. It's awesome that they can call on the Disney Cruise Line to do that, you know? We were just out here having a casual day at sea. The Coast Guard needed our help. They said, yeah, sure, what do you need? And we're here assisting. So it looks like we're doing donuts in the water, like we're just doing circles right now. Coast Guard plane coming in for another pass. They are circling. Whatever it is they're looking for, it's in this area over here. The plane keeps making turns around over here that way. Hopefully everything works out. You know, if there is someone in the water, I hope I hope everything's okay. We have a smaller boat out in the water as well. I think that's a Coast Guard boat. Looks like it might be Coast Guard, but there's a smaller boat out in the water now. Ah, you know? 
converging on something over there. Oh, I do see something in the water. They're converging on something down there. I do see it. It's very difficult to make out in the camera, but there is something floating in the water over there. Yep, it's right there. All right, I have a bunch of crew members next to me and uh, over the radio I heard a stand down, stand down order so and it looks like we're resuming course as well. We are moving forward once again. I think whatever they needed to find was found. Hopefully it wasn't somebody and it wasn't anything major but if it was somebody hopefully they're doing okay. It's wild stuff, huh? Look, another look at the Coast Guard plane. And with that, we have resumed forward motion. That was very interesting and different. Whoa! Holy cow, directly over the ship. I'm glad I caught that. So in other news, take a look at what's happening here in the atrium. This is the Royal Gathering. Now, in order to participate in this, you do need to book this experience ahead of time. However, I do want to say this experience is completely free. It's just that spots tend to fill up rather quickly. So if this is something that you are wanting to do, if you have little princesses in your family that want to meet the princesses on board the ship, um, make sure you are paying attention to your booking windows and when you can book um, experiences on board the ship and make sure you get this as soon as possible. You have Belle in her winter outfit over here which is really rare. I haven't seen that outfit in such a long time. You have Tiana, you have Rapunzel, you have Cinderella, and up here, you have Snow White. Let's go ahead and make our way into the adult-only area on board the Disney Fantasy called Europa, which includes La Piazza, O'Gills, The Tube, and Ooh La La. Looks like they have some crafts going on in here. It's rather quiet, so I'm gonna go ahead and whisper. This is really nice, a carousel-looking bar over here in the center. Let's head on into O'Gills. It's 10.30 right now and I was just completely dumbfounded that, you know, breakfast was still being served, but you know, we did get a relatively early start to the day, so it only makes sense that some folks on a sea day are getting a late start. It is a very busy day out on the main pool deck. Holy cow, lots of people out here. Makes complete and total sense. The ship is 100% capacity and it is a sea day. Over here in the adult only area, the adult pool doesn't look that busy. It's very tempting. It's very warm, very humid out here. We have another little waiting pool over here. Not waiting pool, it's a very shallow pool, but this looks very tempting. So the reason why we were trying to go to O'Gills was because we had saw on the Navigator app that they were going to be playing the World Cup in the bar. However, we got there a little bit after that time and they were like, hey, we're closing it down. We're doing a beer tasting, go up to Currents. So we came up to Currents and we're like, hey, are you showing the World Cup? No, they are not showing the World Cup. They had no idea that they were even supposed to be showing the World Cup. So I don't really know what the heck is going on. We're trying to find somewhere on the ship to find the World Cup because my cousin's from Ecuador and Ecuador is playing in the very first game of the World Cup against Qatar. So she's really wanting to, to watch this game. So we're trying to make it work. We're trying to find out where she can watch it, but it's just a struggle fest right now. <laughs> so that's the current situation. I will say though, however, it is an absolutely gorgeous day at sea. It's not too hot. It's not chilly at all, it's actually pretty warm, but there's a nice breeze, so it's bearable. Feels really nice outside. I absolutely love sea days. Well, good news is, they are showing it in the room, worst case scenario. All right, you longtime cruisers know what time it is. It's time for Jack Jack's Diaper Dash. Let's go, entering lane number one. She's coming in at five foot six. Coming in at 
six foot one, 42 years old, all the way from South Carolina, it's Justin! Caitlin, which athlete crossed the line first? It was super close. Oh. I don't know how we're going to call it, but first over the racing line was Justin! Yes! Well done! Now, we will have one adult here at the starting line, one at the finish line to entice Brooks across. Now, on the count of three, we're all going to call out Race That Baby! One hour later. Let's hear it for Brooks! <laughs> All right, there we have it. Our unofficial winner of Jack Jack's Incredible Diaper Dash. Well, it's safe to say that that Jack Jack Diaper Dash was an absolute fail. Um, typically, I've seen, you know, like four or five babies at a time coming to race, but we only had one participant that, that showed up. So, it's unfortunate. <laughs> because typically when you get like five or six of them at a time, it can get real heated and it can get, you know, really competitive and a lot of fun. But, it is what it is. <laughs> it happens. Now we are going to head on over to the Walt Disney Theater and we're going to experience Aladdin, which is doing a matinee performance today. So let's go. Also, something that's really cool, my mom found this hidden in the garland over here on the second level. This is really cool. It's a little duck. Disney Fantasy, the Orr family. You found a turkey duck. Keep or hide, you decide. That is so cool. So I'm inside the bathrooms that are right outside the Walt Disney Theater and I just love these mirrors. The Mickeys are subtle. I mean, kind of subtle. I mean, they're, they're there, but it's just really cute. I love these. And we have made it inside the Walt Disney Theater for the very first show of this voyage, Aladdin. Well, a very good afternoon to you, everybody. Welcome back to the Walt Disney Theater. How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> This afternoon, it's we're doing a daytime one, can I tell you? It's all right, you got a chance to do this. Now, folks, I'm going to tell you, how's your day been so far? How's your day been good? Yes? By round of applause, who has the most freezing weather at home right now? Anybody out there got really cold weather? Yeah? It's not bad being somewhere there's no snow, right? <laughs> yeah. Now, tomorrow we arrive at our first port of call, Cozumel in Mexico! Old Disney Theater, get ready and welcome to Disney's Aladdin, a musical spectacular! Alright, just got done with Aladdin. It was such a fun show. There were quite a few differences from what I remember from the last time I saw it back in 2012. Not complaining though, still a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. If there's a matinee showing on your Disney cruise for any show, I highly recommend you see it if you can. Because it wasn't all that crowded in there. Now we are upstairs on deck 11 and I just got some food at Flo's VA Cafe. Let me show you what I got. Oh yeah. Disney Cruise Line chicken fingers and fries. So over here, I know it's very difficult to see. I would zoom in more, but all this stuff on the outside is blocking the view and not making me see. But it's Havana, right over here is the city over there. And that is Cuba. We are sailing very close.
All right, guys, so we're going to do something just a little bit different. Throughout all the Disney Cruise Line videos that I've done throughout this year, I can't recall a time where I actually changed into my bathing suit and went up to the top deck and spent some time in the pools. I'm going to go do that right now. I'm going to treat myself a little bit. I'm going to relax. I'm going to lay down, and I'm going to enjoy some pool time because we don't have too much planned right now between now and dinner, which is over two hours away. So... I'm gonna go relax. I'm gonna put the camera down. I will see you guys when I'm done. Later. Whew. All right, we are back in the room. I am thoroughly relaxed. I was out there for a little over two hours. And it's funny, when I got out there, it was jam packed full of people. At about 4.30, I went and took a nap and it was still a lot of people. I woke up, there was nobody there in the adult only area. It was just me and my mom and cousin. And I was like, you know the John Travolta meme? where he's just like, what, what's going on? That was me. <laughs> I woke up and I was like, where the heck did everybody go? Honestly though, that was a 10 out of 10 nap. Honestly, I didn't think I was gonna nap that well, but I'm not complaining. We are back in the room now, we're dressed and we are ready for dinner of our second night on this cruise and we are heading down to Royal Courts. I can taste the creme brulee already. I am so excited for this. Let's go ahead and go guys. Also, another thing I wanna mention that it is formal night and as you guys can see, I'm kinda there. I mean, I'm rocking, I'm rocking, you know, shorts and, and regular shoes, but it's fine, it's fine. No one's gonna notice. So the captain's reception is going on and they are handing out free alcohol. So thank you so much, I appreciate it. Complimentary, I got you. Thank you so much, I appreciate it. <laughs> All right, let's go to roll court. All right, before that though, I wanna give this a try. Ooh, this is good, really tasty. We have a wonderful table here at Royal Court in the center of the room. Let's go ahead and take a look at this menu. All right, the royal dinner. Let's go ahead and take a look at the specialty drinks. You can go ahead and pause that if you so desire. For appetizers, we have the duck confit, ice lobster and jumbo shrimp, the escargot, and the breaded deep fried brie. For soups and salads, we have a French onion soup, a uh, permentier, and a farmhouse salad, and a red wine bose pear salad. For our main courses, we have a uh, congili pasta. We have an oven baked salmon royale, crispy roasted duck breast, roasted rack of lamb medium, and a Chateaubriand filet steak. And here are the vegetarian and lighter note offerings if you guys are interested. Okay, so we're starting the dinner off with a little disappointment. They never got a shipment in a brie for the deep fried brie, so they're out of that. I was looking forward to that, and I can't have it. I, ugh, they didn't have it in Alaska, they didn't have it on the Wish, and now I'm not having it on the Fantasy. I'm sad, but it's okay. Instead of the brie, I asked for the black truffle pasta that they serve at Ann Miner's Palette. They were more than happy to get it for me, so I'm gonna have the escargot and the black truffle pasta for an appetizer, and a salmon for um, my main entree. So, not a bad dinner. I also want to show off our bread basket it looks like a pumpkin carriage from Cinderella. I will also say, throughout most of the day, the ship has been doing this number. It's been listing from side to side pretty noticeably too. While I was in the adult pool, I was having a hard time, you know, staying in one spot. The water was forcing me from side to side. It's not really that bad now, but when I was in the pool earlier, it was pretty bad. It's just noticeable. Something you always gotta be prepared for. <laughs> All right, our appetizers have arrived. We have the escargot, AKA snails over here. And straight from Animator's Palette, the black truffle pasta per set. And my entree has arrived. This is the oven baked salmon royale with kink smoked salmon, horseradish crust, accompanied by sauteed Swiss chard, truffle cauliflower puree, and white wine uh, burblanc. Don't ask me what Burr Blanc is. You know, it wasn't until recently that I discovered the Salmon Royale at the Royal Court restaurants or the, you know, Tritons or Lumieres on the other ships. Um, it's really good. You know, before I would come here and I would get, you know, the duck breast or the Chateaubriand, but I discovered the salmon has truffle in it, <laughs> baked into the mashed cauliflower, and I love truffle. Any truffle, anything, black truffle, anything is really good. So if you're a fan of like the black truffle pasta, then you're gonna love the salmon royale because the cauliflower tastes like the black truffle pasta. So good, highly recommend. All right, our dessert menu has arrived. Let's go ahead and take a look. All right, we fold this thing open just like we got accepted to Hogwarts. Here are your specialty drinks over here. You guys can pause the video if you so desire. And down here are the desserts. 
You guys know me, I love the Grand Marnier Souffle. There's an apple tart. There is also the creme brulee, which is also really good. Strawberry shortcake sundae for your signature. You have the classic opera um, gâteau, I think it is. And for no sugar added, the duo chocolate slice. All right, dessert has arrived and you guys already know what my favorite is, the Grand Marnier Souffle. Formal night is an extremely popular night for getting pictures with everyone. If you're not interested in getting professional pictures with professional photographers, just wait until the very end of the night when it's late and no one's in here. You can get some phenomenal photos with no one in the background. Uh, how awesome is that? Goofy's dancing with everyone. <laughs> We have Pluto across the way doing a roaming meet and greet. He's wearing his formal collar. I know he's hiding behind a pillar. Up oh, there he is. <laughs> Every time I see this guy, he's wearing his. Who is that? Frank? I think it's Frank. He's wearing the octopus on his head, even on formal night. I admire the dedication, my dude. And take a look at that. Tiana has joined the party. I know it's kind of hard to spot, but Belle in her winter outfit is out there as well. The line for pictures in front of backdrops is no joke on formal night, so be prepared to wait. And take a look at this awesome photo op that they have over here for the night that Aladdin is showing in the theater. This is so cool. You can get up close with the lamp and take pictures with it. This is awesome. Good lord, walking through these hallways is a struggle. The ship is swaying from side to side. I feel like I'm drunk over here. And this is someone else's room, but you can see how these things are, are moving. So we just got back into the room and take a look at our towel animal for, what is this, night two? This is night two. <laughs> what is this? What do you think this is? I mean, from the front, it looks like an armadillo to me or like an anteater, something with a really long snout. Well, this is so adorable. Oh, huh, well, this is interesting. The adult pool normally doesn't close until 10. It's going on, eh, it's getting closer to 9 o'clock right now. I guess they have it closed off because the ship is a little too rocky this evening. You know, guys, at this point, I'm just thoroughly convinced that I am in love with Mickey Mouse mirrors because I'm on deck 11 next to the ice cream shop over here. And take a look at this. Look at how adorable. I just, I love this. <laughs> ah, so this makes sense. They have this area closed off as well because there's lightning in the area, so they don't want anybody just out in the open willy-nilly. So that makes complete and total sense. Yeah, take a look at what they're showing on the Funnel Vision. Kansas City versus LA. <laughs> yeah, we're going to start bringing a little pressure of our own, and a big reason why is that Mike Williams isn't in the game. He really has been that guy that yeah. they... You're number one, Donald. You're number one. Our favorite. <laughs> you look good tonight, man. <laughs> Have a good night, Donald. We love you. We talked about uh, Jamari Sawyer on the left side. All right, guys, we are back in the room. That was a very long and very interesting sea day. Starting things off wild with that, you know, search and rescue at sea. That was very interesting to watch. Hopefully, you know, everyone involved was okay. Today was definitely very relaxing. I enjoyed my time in the adult only area. Dinner was phenomenal and getting to watch football up on the top deck. That was a lot of fun as well. And I can't wait to do that again on Thanksgiving night. Thank you all so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. Let me know your 
your thoughts and your opinions on everything that you saw in today's video down in the comment section below. Subscribe if you are new around here and you want to see more Disney Cruise Line content in the very near future. Once again, guys, we are on a seven-night cruise, so we have a lot more Disney Cruise Line content coming your way from the Disney Fantasy here in the very near future. I hope you're all having a wonderful day, morning, afternoon, evening, and I'll see you guys in the next video.